Hi everyone, today we're going to study second order partial derivatives. When a function f of xy is differentiated twice, it produces four possible second order partial derivatives denoted by this is the first one f sub x x this means we're going to take the partial derivative of f with respect to x and then the new function we're going to take partial derivative again with respect to x in other symbol we can write the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x and we write in another notation as second order partial derivative of f with respect to x next is f sub y y this means we're going to take the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y and then with the new function we're going to take the derivative again with respect to y and we write in another notation that partial derivative with respect to y of the partial derivative of f with respect to y and we have this new notation second order partial derivative of f with respect to y next is f sub xy this means we're going to take the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x and with the new function we will take the partial derivative with respect to y we can write in another notation that partial derivative with respect to y of the partial derivative of the function f with respect to x and we write here second order partial derivative of f with respect to x followed by with respect to y the fourth one is f sub y x this means we're going to take the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y and then with a new function here we will take another partial derivative with respect to x and we say that the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y and we write here the second order partial derivative of the function f first with respect to y followed by with respect to x now we have a theorem if the function f of xy and its partial derivatives are defined throughout an open region containing a point a b and are all continuous at a b then we say that f sub xy at the point a b is equal to f sub y x at the point a b or simply we say that f sub x y is equal to f sub y x This is example 1. If the function f of xy equals x raised to power 6, y raised to 5, plus 3xy squared, find f sub x, f sub y, f sub xx, and f sub yy. 
Let's begin with the f sub x. We're going to differentiate the function f with respect to x while taking y variable as constant. So the derivative of this function with respect to x is 6x raised to 5, y raised to 5, plus derivative of 3xy square is 3y square. This is our answer. Next is f sub y. We're going to differentiate the function f with respect to y while taking the variable x as constant. So the derivative of this is x raised to 6, that's a constant, multiplied by derivative of y raised to 5, which is 5y raised to 4 plus derivative of 3xy square is 3x times 2y. Simplifying this, we have now 5x raised to 6y raised to 4 plus 6xy. This is the final answer. Then we have f sub xx, which means we're going to differentiate the function f sub x with respect to x while taking y variable as constant. So the derivative will be 6 times 5x raised to 4 times y raised to 5. This is the derivative of the first term. Plus, derivative of 3y square is 0 because the y here is a constant. Simplifying now, we have 30x raised to 4, y raised to 5. This is the final answer. Last, f sub yy. We're going to differentiate the function f sub y with respect to y while taking x variable as constant. So the derivative is 5x raised to 6, that is considered constant, so we copy it here, times derivative of y raised to 4, that is 4y cubed, plus derivative of 6xy with respect to y. So we have 6x. Simplifying this, we have 20x raised to 6 y cubed plus 6x. This is the final answer. Now example 2. If f of xy equals x cosine y plus y times e raised to x, find these four second partial derivatives. Let's begin with a second partial derivative with respect to x. We can show that this is partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Let us simplify the derivative inside the grouping symbol. We will take the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So derivative of x cosine y with respect to x is cosine y plus derivative of y times e raised to x is simply y times e raised to x. Next step, we're going to take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So the derivative of cosine y is 0 because y is considered constant. Then derivative of y times e raised to x is simply the same, y times e raised to x. This is the answer for the second partial derivative of the function f with respect to x. Next is second order partial derivative of f with respect to y. So we can show that this is partial derivative with respect to y 
of the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Let us evaluate the partial derivative of the function f with respect to y. And that is x cosine y becomes x times negative sine y plus derivative of y e raised to x with respect to y. So we have this e raised to x. Simplifying this, we have now negative x sine y plus e raised to x. Now, let us take the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. And that is negative x cosine y. This is the derivative of the negative x sine y plus derivative of e raised to x with respect to y becomes zero because the variable x is considered constant. This is now the final answer. We have now the second order partial derivative of f dx dy. This means we are going to take the partial derivative with respect to x of the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Let us now evaluate partial derivative of f with respect to y. And that is negative x sine y plus e raised to x. I got this answer from our previous solution here. I just copied down here. Let us now evaluate the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. So we have negative sine y, that is derivative of negative x sine y here, plus derivative of e raised to x is the same. This is e raised to x. This is the final answer. Then we have the second order partial derivative of f over dy dx. It means partial derivative with respect to y of the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Simplifying now, we write cosine y plus y times e raised to x. I got this answer from our previous solution up here. Then, let us take the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. Derivative of cosine is negative sine y plus derivative of y times e raised to x with respect to y. And the answer is e raised to x. This is the final answer. Take note that the second order partial derivative of f over dx dy is equal to second order partial derivative of f over dy dx. And the same answer is this, negative sine y plus e raised to x. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.